So I noticed on the tackle hey! board, Artemis. Hey! What's going on here? Shouting sailors, flashing lights, penalties? There's a lot happening. Let me explain. I'm Jack Griffin, and in this Cup Experience Briefing, I want to show you what happens at the course limits. It's easy to understand, but if you want a deep dive into the America's Cup edition of the Racing Rules, you can have a look at Rule 20. Here we are on a rough and windy day in Naples, with the fleet approaching the leeward gate. The race boats go between the two marks and round whichever one they want. When I start the video, you'll see these six boats round the right-hand mark and these three round the left-hand mark. These yellow circles show us the three boat length zone used to determine who has the right to room to round the mark inside of another boat. By the way, I explain mark room rights in another briefing. The white shading on the TV screen shows the course limits. The circles and course limits can only be seen on the TV screen but the sailors do have indicators on board to show them when they're close to the course limits. Look how close the limit is on the right side of the course, and the limit on the left side is not even in our picture. Now, let's see the action. You're watching a speed chess game with nine players, all trying to think several moves ahead. Remember the shouting, blinking lights, and penalties? Well, that was all about the course limits, and what happens when a boat is close to the limits. Let's look at the chessboard now, after the last few moves. Six boats headed to the right side of the course. Jimmy Spithill of Oracle Racing, the leader, has already tacked away from the course limit. Darren Bundock, helming the other Oracle Racing boat, is making his tack now. These three boats are heading to the left side, and we'll see how Chris Draper of Luna Rossa plays the game with Terry Hutchinson of Artemis Racing and Nathan Outeridge of Team Korea. And then we'll see how Fred Leputrick of China plays it. Here we are on board Luna Rossa with skipper Chris Draper. Let's listen to Chris as the action unfolds. We're gonna have to give up in this room here. Looking for an opportunity. You can see the boats. It's hard to get across on Korea, yeah? Three, wander up, wander up to do it. Okay, stand by. Artemis getting Turkey very close to that boundary, Mitch. Yeah, they now look at the situation. Artemis is approaching the course limit and will need to tack away. Draper on Luna Rossa just called for a tack away from Artemis. But what is China team going to do? Well, they should be seeing a blinking green light on Artemis. This clip is not Artemis, but I wanted you to see the green light. It means this boat has rights to room to tack. But the seas were rough and maybe China team didn't see Artemis's light. Now we're back on board Artemis as they tack away from the boundary. Watch as skipper Terry Hutchinson begins to turn the boat. Here's Hutchinson. Now he has to move across the boat to the other side. And here's the Artemis crew as they complete the tack. You'll see Hutchinson move into the picture Turn around and get a surprise. Here we are back on Artemis, right after they were forced to duck behind China team to avoid a collision. The picture is pretty grainy, but I'm sure Hutchinson is not smiling. Now that the shouting is done, what do we find? China team got a penalty for going past the limits and a second penalty for not giving Artemis room to tack. Got all that? I hope this will help you enjoy watching more of the America's Cup World Series. Thanks for joining me. You'll find more info at cupexperience.com. And if you have questions, just ask Jack. I don't know all the answers, but I know people who do.